Yo, it's Jesse with Bumble Land Clearing. Uh, <clears throat> got this thing fixed. I just stopped off like just a few minutes down the road. Got this thing warming up. It'll be nice and toasty. We'll see how it does today. I'm going to show you this little spot we got here. So I'm supposed to come in and thin everything out. Make it look good. And then where they can come in and... Uh, you know keep it clean but also thin out a bunch of it they're gonna have problems for uh runoff you can see that's running off here probably because of that that pile there but anyway i'm not sure what what's going on here uh but we're gonna take out stuff like this stuff like that over there just thin out some of these some of these are probably thin out a few of these Got the knife sharpened up. I didn't see that embankment over there. Uh, but yeah, ooh, that's not good. Clean up some of this right here. It's nice and cold. It's like 27 degrees. We just got to come in and clean everything up. I'm gonna have to pole saw some of this to make it look good. I should be able to get over here and. Uh, thin it out some it's not too bad it won't take us long then we got a few spots over there to do this is for our local agribusiness center uh talked to him about a banner and it ended up getting a, a job a couple jobs that they want done but this is what we got it'll take us shortly uh somebody said something about they like the uh the tripod setup so that's what we're gonna do. I wonder if a deer's come over here and just whopping all over that thing. Cause I mean, that looks like something's scraping. I'm really not sure to be honest with you. I mean, it's this whole corner over here just ate up. But anyway, this is really not gonna take us too long. We'll get the machine warmed up. We're supposed to have snow tomorrow. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go home and get the excavator load it up i'm gonna do as much mulching as i can we got this spot we got one you can see several spots that they got but i did give an estimate for that one and then there's one way on the other side probably as bad as that size but we got one on i think it's the yeah this far right one right here and then there's one close to the road so we'll uh let these get nice and toasty that way uh, everything's nice and warm. Double check everything before we do anything. Let's get to it.
wanted to show what I was going to take out. Uh, there's an embankment right here. They didn't completely, it's like a fall off edge. It just kind of comes up to a crisp and it drops. Uh, so I was going up at an angle to kind of smooth it up a little bit, but I was trying to stay away from the, the building because we didn't experience that. <laughs> um, so I was going to take, I'm probably going to take this one out just because it looks like it's dying and then take this one out. It's going to take me a little longer, but I want to leave this good one uh, and just trim it up. Take this one out. Not leave that one. No, it's dead. Never mind. I'll take that one out. Take this one out. Obviously, it's dead. And All right, so we got, as you can see, got most of that down there cleaned up, except for the embankment over there. I brought this over here to get it cleaned up. The last job we done, I smacked another chunk out. So that's one thing I like about it, but I don't. But I'm trying to get everything cleaned up because it's got a film on it. And then getting uh, the new Timberwolf, uh, I used it earlier to clean up some of that and then uh, now I'm pushing the rest of it to kind of clean it up and then all I got to do is bring in the excavator tomorrow if we don't get too much snow but that way I can clean up all that mulch it up then we can but we're definitely going to start down there today too it's almost lunch time so I was getting everything I forgot the tool so this is what I had what's cool is yeah you you can get down in here on this one but sometimes you can't get in there I can hold this just take your uh and then it'll turn with it so it's pretty good because i have several of those tools but it, i've got this one in the 250 so i'm gonna get the pole saw out so that way i can reach higher um and then get some of the tall stuff because they got big tractors that can go in there and clean up a little bit so we'll see how they well they may want more done but we could see how this is going to go uh but definitely it looks 10 times better thinned out i thinned out a lot more so it should be more manageable but i did tell them i'm gonna try to get a bigger excavator if they want me to thin out more so uh, but definitely need to think about something maybe like a, a brush cutter or mulcher um, on that embankment over there so because after i get it cleaned up they won't have to worry about it for a while but you can't get a lawnmower on that maybe a weed eater but 
how they're gonna keep it cleaned up who knows but anyway we're gonna get chainsaws pole saws ready and then we'll head over there and start pole sawing everything up making it look good all right so finally got everything trimmed up as high as the chainsaw let me i forgot to get the the gas and the oil out of the f-250 but no big deal i got piles here i got probably about 12 15, between 12 to 15 piles through here so now I just gotta come through and, and mulch everything up so let's get to it i'm tired of wore out All right, so this is about all we can get done. Uh, other than that fence line, you can see a little bit. I busted my my index finger earlier <clears throat> uh, trying to pull that chainsaw. Uh, <clears throat> so I got everything like this got mounted dirt. I'm guessing that's where maybe they dug out right here. I really think this should go about right in there because it's like lower, but I guess it's for the horses or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start on the other side over there. I'll show you shortly. And it's getting close to the end of the day, and it's getting cold. And, I mean, this is, after hitting a lot of rock, I mean, this is the finish it's leaving. I mean, it's good little chips. I mean, of course, you got something like this. But it's so sandy in here, it wants to, like, pack down in there, and then it's sucking up the sand. So I'm just going to grab this stuff and then mulch it later. That way it'll be a nice bed because it's washing all this right in here. So everything's washing down. But once I rip all this stuff up and then uh, 
the bigger ones i may just cut them out uh ju just due to the fact of uh that way it don't tear a bunch of holes and then it starts washing out but i'm gonna take rip all this down and then mulch it all up through here that way it'll be a nice bed so that's why i didn't get as much cutting down here so the hiccups um we're gonna go down here and go ahead and start and go ahead and get that probably done by the end of the day so look at that leaving some toothpicks now boys and girls see little toothpicks very nice i mean i beat the mess out of these things too i mean they're still i try to leave an edge on them so still super happy i do need to get the knives or the uh the carbides that go with romex i'm gonna go ahead and order another set of knives and some carbides so the carbides are probably like 24 or 30 dollars a piece which are well worth i only need like eight so they'll last 10 times longer but this is what we got all right let's go over there all right so now here is the first or second stage that he wanted done that one was the biggest one see there's the truck over there and this is it looks a lot more than when you're coming up here just because of the outskirts so we're going to trim up all this stuff because they got big Kubota tractors and stuff like that that made it, it'll look more presentable we're going to have to mulch everything down that way kind of push it down and eat it up and then uh the second stage is on the other side I see you see the road right there it's on the other side other side it's lower this is what we got there's uh you can kind of see the little path over here so we're going to get here and mulch all this up clean it up and this ought to, this won't take too long but uh probably had to spend tomorrow uh you know zipping everything down and, and then you know bringing it up higher so that way i'll have the pole saw and stuff definitely have to do that on these sides trim everything up higher that way they can get their stuff back here and start mowing so i guess uh, we can get to it
right so i got most of this lower side of course you got some right here oh yeah i also found this got a chunk of it always the battery's dying on me but i got just this little embankment and a freaking chunk broke off hit the top of the cab and scared the absolute mess out of me so i'm glad i pushed all this out a little bit that way i can mulch the lower side of that and then these trees right here there's a few of them that's broke especially that one right there so it's a big one so i got bigger stuff to mulch down here a bunch of them laid over but uh one of the guys that runs the agribusiness center here he uh he popped up check on because they got uh like bathroom and stuff they gotta turn on their on the outside you gotta keep heat he said it looks real good so now we'll, we'll be able to trim stuff up tomorrow now they're showing three inches of snow when it was one percent so that's pushed down further so we may not be able to get back here but i'm just glad i got this much done and then we can start on that side over there uh see today sunday so monday and tuesday so probably probably tuesday but we should be good any, either way uh, get all these trimmed up cleaned up stuff like that so looking good i'll set the tripod up and get the rest of this Before it gets too dark, ah, it's getting close to 4:30, or it might be right at 4:30. But uh, we got this much done. I think we only spent like maybe two, two and a half hours mulching this up. So I still got to come back and trim everything up. Got some scragglers here. This is what calls breakages. So as soon as it wads up like this, I stop. But we got some uh, snow coming. Some pieces. There we go. We got a few pieces slung here and there. This has had about two or three trees laid over. But. <clears throat> This is what we got before it gets too dark. It's pretty dark, but the GoPro is showing it like it's, you know, a lot more light. I really like how it's looking. Got to get this uh, skateboard here. Got to throw it to the side. <coughs> Probably come in with the excavator tomorrow if we don't get too much snow. Um, trim everything up. Use the excavator to rip everything up and clean it up and then put it in the pile and then we'll go down that way. We may start down there tomorrow just because I'm going to run the excavator that way, fill it up, grease it up and all that. Uh, that way we can start there and then 
and track over here because once we get the that over there done we'll come here clean up and then we'll start over there so that way it'll be you know common sense to start over there since that's the last thing we got to start on and then we put a bit in over here for this and on the other side it's kind of it's pretty big like this it's real thick but it's the down slope where all the water goes so it's kind of wet right now since all the rain that we had so we got this and we got this tomorrow and then on, on the other side it's what we give uh bids on this and the other side so looking pretty good and once we come in and chop everything up high then everything will look really good on the corners and stuff like that that's what we got all right so now i got the machine blowed off getting fuel in it now it's about to drink it's uh, about a half a gallon so i'd say about like 30 35 gallons just for half tank but anyway we got chainsaws and all that stuff to put up so while that's doing that then we'll uh get everything ready to for tomorrow hopefully if no rain or no rain but uh, no snow we'll see how it goes so to start out the day uh, a little later look how much snow we got um here's some right here nice anyway so we're up here uh my awesome binder job quick and easy fast <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start excavating it's gotten colder since i was up earlier this morning So everything was leaning this way, so I had to go one by one, cut notches out of it, and then push it over. Kind of clean some of this up, but I think a dozer. It's got sandy material, so they need to bring in some dirt. And uh, they got a bunch of concrete dumped off right here. I just, I'm not going to go too far. I'll just kind of come up here and mulch the little stobs. And uh, it's just sandy dirt. But I'm going to try to come up and just kind of knock some of that out. Anyway, it's it's raining here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start mulching all this right here up, clean it up, and then we'll go ahead and run down that way to finish up that other spot. We got that raked up. 
I got all the dirt out and it looks like a bunch of easy stuff to mulch. So we're gonna just gonna clean that up by mulching it. So we'll put this out of the rain. That's how you keep stuff longer is keeping out of the rain. Oops. All right. As long as I can get most of it out of the way. All right, let's go ahead and get this lower side cleaned up and maybe that uh tree mulch it cut pretty easy i mean i i revved it up once or twice and it's already cut through so it should mulch up pretty easy which i didn't grind uh grind the teeth up sharpen them but they're still pretty good 